Ladies and gents, it's Wednesday, and you're watching The Biggest Beauty Project. <sighs> it's been a really crazy week. Um, I'm sorry I missed last week. I When I start reading a series of books, it's really bad because I get so wrapped up in it, I feel like it's my life, and I can't stop reading <laughs> until I get to the end. So I was reading the Fifty Shades of Grey series. As y'all know, <laughs> and um, it's really flippin' good. Um, I really enjoyed reading it, and I really recommend it to everybody else because it's hot. Um, yeah, guys, if you want to know what to do for your girls, I would definitely read this book and take some notes because all the girls that I've given it to that have read it have wanted this man in their lives. So, just saying. Um, <laughs> Although it's not for everyone, it's, yeah, it's just kind of hot that I think, I think it's pretty hot. Anyway, so I'm going to cover two topics this week since I missed last week. Um, the first thing I want to cover is uh, Samantha's topic for last week, which was, do you really love your body? And if you don't, how do you deal with that? Um, I have to say over this past, well, I would say over the past year and a half, almost two years, no, two years now. Um, since I've joined the channel, I really have started to love myself. And as I see it, my body is part of myself. So if I love myself, then I should love my body, right? And I pretty much do. I There are th things that I'd like to change about it, of course. Everybody wants to change something. But I do, I love me. And I really have become comfortable in my own skin. I care less about what other people think, <clears throat> which is a really good thing for me, um, because that used, used to be one of the things I would focus on all the time. Um, I, you know, now that I, st that I love myself, I, I treat myself so much better. It's like I respect myself more, and that's a really good thing to have, um, especially when you've spent a lot of your life without that. Um, so yeah, I would I would say that I, I love my body. There are a few things I'd like to change. Like I would like to change the size of my thighs. Um, <laughs> they're they're a little a little big for my liking. However, um, I still like them. I have good strong legs, and they get me from place to place. So yes, I love them because they are a vehicle for me. Um, uh, I would like to change my flabby underarms. I'm not a big fan of those, but you know what? They can they can be changed. I can change that. So, yeah, I still love me though. I still love my body and yeah. Um this week's topic was um was Amy's topic and she wanted us to go back to our New Year's resolutions and see if we've actually kept up with them. And I can proudly say that I have. Um I have I made a resolution two resolutions to um, to journal more and to um, get healthy and I can say that I do journal at least at least every other day um, sometimes I miss which is which is understandable um, you know being out of town or going someplace and forgetting your journal I originally had started putting stuff on my WordPress account but I was like yeah what what's the point I was like I'm just gonna you know put it in my own journal I think like I can I feel like I can express myself better that way um, because when I put it on WordPress, people are going to read that. And while I don't really care what other people think, it's just, it's easier just knowing that no one's going to read it and I'm not going to offend anybody if I put it in my own journal. So I have been journaling and, um, my other resolution was to, to stay healthy and I am getting healthier. Um, I have almost completely stopped drinking sodas. Um, I am now just down to diet sodas and I have like maybe two a week. Um, but other than that, I just drink water or tea and sometimes coffee in the morning, but not always. Um, and I don't know, my doctor's really happy with me, although I had did get a little bit sick last month. Well, I kind of been having a problem off and on for like three months, but it's not really I wouldn't say it's about something that I'm doing, it's something that my body is doing to me, so it's okay, I have another doctor's appointment on Tuesday, and I should be able to check out what's going on and see if I need surgery or not. 
Um, hopefully I won't. Maybe it's just a quick fix. And even if it is surgery, hopefully it's like an outpatient thing where I can be in and out and be done with it. Um, but yeah, like I have, I have stuck with my, my resolutions. Uh, and I do have many resolutions for the summer. And I've, I've already, you know, started on that, so I'm really excited. I am going to stay tan this summer and hopefully be able to stay tan through the beginning of fall and early winter because I was way too pale this last year and I, I was just embarrassed. Um, but <laughs> I have I have my mom's pool, so I go over there and I tan there and go lay out like once a week. And that's what I've been doing. That's why I'm much more tan. As you can see, my arms are tan. My legs are catching up, which is good. And my face is nice and tan. So, yeah. I know it's it's not the healthiest thing to lay out in the sunbeams, but I do wear some SPF. It's not very high, but I do wear it. And, um, I, you know, I've been out in the sun since I was a kid. Like, it's, it's something that we always did. And I'm, I'm I know what my tolerance is and I know how much is too much. So, yeah, uh, at least I'm not going to a tanning bed. Yeah, I'm not going to turn into the tanning mom. Um, I don't know what that weird flash of bright light was. It's kind of strange. Anyway, uh, I am going to stop rambling now because it's now going on six and a half minutes. So I will talk to you guys next week. I love you guys and yeah. Okay, have a good week. Bye.